Aston Martin has a new Formula 1 team boss and it's someone you might not be all that familiar with. Former BMW Motorsport chief Mike Crack has been recruited to replace Otmar Zafnauer with Aston Martin opting to look outside the F1 bubble to find the best candidate. Crack is a man with considerable F1 experience from the past though, having spent years working his way to the highest level of engineering in Grand Prix racing. So let's take a look at who Aston Martin's new team boss is and why he's considered the right man for the job, starting with the parallels this signing has with one by Aston Martin's main rivals. Crack had been at BMW since 2014 and came to lead its global motorsport programs in Formula E and sports car racing. He's previously worked at Porsche and had a lengthy engineering stint in F1 with Sauber, then a race engineer including working with Felipe Massa and eventually the team's chief engineer. Crack replaces longtime team member Zafnauer in charge of Aston Martin's F1 operation, which falls under ex McLaren CEO Martin Whitmarsh's overall direction and the ownership of Lawrence Stroll. Crack described his move as a thrill and an honour, and he will reunite with the team's lead driver Sebastian Vettel, having worked with the four-time world champion at the start of his F1 career at BMW Sauber. And this could prove a very shrewd appointment from Aston Martin. It has echoes of McLaren hiring then Porsche LMP1 boss Andreas Seidel as team principal, and to a slightly lesser extent, Doralton Capital appointing long-time senior Volkswagen figure Jos Capito as Williams CEO. We know how well looking outside of F1 to get Seidel on board is working out for McLaren, which he joined in 2019. With Zac Brown looking after the commercial business and being primarily responsible to the shareholders as McLaren Racing CEO, Seidel is entrusted with running the F1 team. That's his sole day-to-day -day focus. Under that leadership structure, McLaren has become a multiple podium finisher again and returned to winning ways in Formula 1. Off track, it's signed off on a new wind tunnel and simulator and secured important new investment. So Seidel's been a key part of McLaren's upwards trajectory and Aston Martin will undoubtedly hope Crack, who will also be a devoted team boss with Whitmarsh offering a buffer to team chairman Stroll, can have the same impact. Comparisons between Crack's appointment and what Seidel has done for McLaren are inevitable and this video is among the early evidence. But it's not simply a case of seeing all recruits from high level programs outside F1 as the same. The competency of the individuals is what matters. Seidel has been an excellent addition to McLaren because he's a very capable person with a skill set well suited to running an F1 team and McLaren has a structure in place that allows him to thrive. He's not been a great appointment just because he worked at Porsche beforehand. By the same logic, Crack's arrival at Aston Martin doesn't guarantee the same results as Seidel's McLaren tenure just because of the surface level similarity of F1 team hires chief from a massive German manufacturer. But as you might have worked out by now, we are about to tell you what really makes Crack a potential Seidel level appointment. And while we take a couple of seconds to get our notes together to do that, we have something to ask of you. If you're enjoying this video, please hit the like button and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already to follow our channel in the future. It helps us out a lot and with F1 launch season just around the corner, we've got loads planned that you're going to want to see. We've spoken to people who have worked with Crack at BMW and what's so encouraging for Aston Martin is he seems to have already made the transition from being an immensely capable engineer to someone who thrives in a leadership role. He's held a lot of positions and worked at the highest level as an engineer and a works motorsport program manager. Described as calm, studious and straightforward, Crack appears to pass a character test with flying colours. Like Seidel and Capito, Crack doesn't face some great step into the unknown with F1. He started his motorsport career with Sauber in 2001, and coincidentally, that's the same team all three have previous F1 experience with. Crack left ahead of the 2009 season, but it would be ignorant to believe spending more than a decade away from F1 hasn't enhanced his existing skills and given him the opportunity to learn new ones. F1's often referred to as the pinnacle of motorsport and it aims to attract the best in all aspects, but the racing world outside F1 is inhabited by extremely capable personnel, with plenty of major motorsport programs and big technological challenges. Crack is clearly one such individual and his long BMW stint and shorter time at Porsche have given him first-hand experience of being part of important, challenging programs from an engineering perspective and latterly a management one. That's very important. Since returning to BMW in 2014, he assumed increasingly senior roles in its motorsport programs. 
That made him a key figure in the announcement of BMW's return to the top class of the Le Mans 24 hours with a collaboration with Delara. It also put him at the forefront of driver matters in BMW's Formula E and GT programs. He had to manage the process of turning a big list of contenders into the final FE lineup. And after BMW's works FE drivers Alexander Sims and Antonio Felix da Costa collided while running 1-2 in Marrakesh back in 2019, Crack is said to have handled that immediately on site afterwards and handled it well. That's partly because his extensive experience as a race engineer and his own background in karting has made Crack someone who works very well with drivers, because he respects the needs and demands of the human and technical sides of a team. When BMW decided to leave FE, Crack was also a big supporter of getting a 2022 powertrain extension deal together for its partner team Andretti to ensure it wasn't left in the lurch. It's said to have become a personal priority of his, and he even ensured that there would be BMW engineers available for track support. This shows the sense of duty Crack feels to his colleagues and why his efforts tend to inspire respect and loyalty. So when Whitmarsh calls Crack exactly the right kind of dynamic and modern team principal, with a blend of experience and expertise that makes him the ideal choice for us, you have every reason to believe him. Otmar Zafnauer was always likely to be a difficult man to replace, given the personal affection and respect he would have earned over many years at Team Silverstone, joining it in its Force India days. He also had underrated skills as the de facto team boss of Force India and then the outright team principal of Racing Point and latterly Aston Martin. But Crack is a worthy successor and could come to represent a genuine upgrade. His career will command respect from all areas of the team automatically, but the way he's said to deal with people will undoubtedly accelerate that process and get people to buy into his leadership. He will also have an excellent understanding of its engineering requirements, and he should be a great resource for a studious, experienced champion like Vettel to tap into as a driver. The main question mark is how well his experience of juggling the boardroom demands of a major manufacturer like BMW compare with answering to a chairman like Lawrence Stroll, who has grand ambitions for a team he is investing heavily in. These are different situations and come with different challenges. Stroll has marked Crack's arrival by stating, We are about to embark on year two of our five-year plan, the objective of which is to win Formula One World Championships. All the ingredients we require are coming together. Mike will play a central and leading role, reporting to Martin Whitmarsh and leading our technical and operational functions, our collective aim being to fulfil those lofty ambitions. We are on our way. If Stroll believes Crack is the right man for the job, and there is every reason to believe he could be, then giving him the authority to run the team his way will be key. Whitmarsh, who Crack will report to, could have an important role to play there. Stroll has such big plans for Aston Martin, and these plans were in such a formative stage that it's understood that Zafnau was often distracted from the day-to-day -day requirements of the team to handle the early expansion. While Crack will need to be part of this in the same way that Seidel was part of identifying areas like needing a new wind tunnel at McLaren, it's important that there's an element of insulation from the non-essential company-related matters. Handle it right and Crack could excel as someone who has a rare blend of being technically savvy, well-versed in the demands of senior leadership, and a good man-manager who leads by example. And with a reputation for being a straightforward individual, he should fit well with the no-nonsense approach that typified Team Silverstone in the past, especially when it was its most effective. Crack said, Team Silverstone has always impressed me. It's full of talented people and real racers. That racers' culture and values are what is required to succeed in motorsport. I know that, and my new colleagues know it too. We will work incredibly hard. We want to win. Together, we will. A racing-focused environment free of politics was a key element that was swiftly identified as something this team needed to hold on to once Stroll's investment came pouring in. And Crack might be the perfect leader to protect Aston Martin's existing strengths while also being able to cope with the higher stakes that come with running an ambitious F1 team.